Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be a drugstore haul. There's been a bunch of new products coming out at the drugstore. Some of the products I did test out already and some I didn't, so I will give you guys like a mini review on what I think of the products that I've tested out. So if you want to see the haul, then please keep watching. So the first product that I did get is the CoverGirl Golden's True Naked Palette, and it's funny because on the front it says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. Looking at this, I honestly wouldn't think much of it. I would probably think that it was kind of like the Maybelline Nudes palette, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I think there's better out there than that palette. But I did hear a lot of good things about this palette, so I wanted to try it out. And oh my god, is it so pigmented. It is so beautiful. They do have another palette. This one is the... Um, I guess the Goldens, they have like another one that's more like mauve shades, but this palette is so beautiful. I haven't wore it on my eyes yet, but swatching it and stuff, it's just insane. It's so metallic, so pigmented. I cannot wait to do some looks with this palette. This is what it looks like. And I will give you guys a close up of some swatches. The next two products that I picked up are the new Infallible Pro Matte Glosses by L'Oreal. I did pick up two shades and in the packaging they do look very similar, but I swear our swatch they are really different. So I got the shade Statement Nude, which is more of like a darker brown nude shade, and then I got Bare Attraction, which is more of like a peachy lighter nude. I think these are such amazing lip products. I've been trying them out for a few days now and I'm obsessed with them. I wish they had like more of a color selection. I didn't really see any other colors that I would honestly wear besides like these two. I feel like the formula is kind of similar to the NYX soft matte lip creams if you guys are familiar with those except they are not as matte as those they just have that creamy-ish texture to them I feel like the wear time of these is really nice I feel like it's not a lip gloss but it's not a liquid lipstick at all it's not as drying as a liquid lipstick something else I love about these is with a liquid lipstick it kind of crumbles up and it accentuates the cracks in your lips these make your lips look so nice so I think these are definitely worth checking out I think they're really good lip products and another lip product that I picked up is the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Lip Balm. It says it's a vitamin infused balm. And the color that I got is 3 Caramel. When you are picking these up, do not go off of the color of the cap because the color inside is completely different. I was like looking at all of them and none of them matched the um, color on the outside. I would look at the bottom right here. That's going to give you more of an accurate like color um so yeah I have the shade caramel and looking at it it looks pretty dark like you would think that it would give you a lot of color payoff it's actually very sheer so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like it's right here if you can even see that it's a very sheer wash of color I consider this more as like a lip balm I feel like you're not going to get much color out of this I don't know if the darker colors will give you more color payoff but these kind of remind me of the Maybelline Baby Lips. It is very moisturizing and I do really like it, but I probably won't get any more shades. I also picked up two new products from NYX. It's kind of funny because they're literally the same color and I didn't even realize that. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. At first I thought this was like a liquid lipstick type thing, but it says it's a cream lipstick. It's just so. this really pretty pink shade. This is very pigmented. The color payoff of these is amazing. I did only pick up one because this was the only color that I saw that I would probably wear. The other ones were like really dark or really bright. I didn't really see any nudes that they um, had in stock. I did test this out once. It's very comfortable on the lips. It reminds me a lot of the um, Infallible Pro Matte Lip Glosses from L'Oreal. So it's kind of that same concept. So yeah, I definitely want to pick up more of these. I would like to get like a nude shade. The only thing I didn't like about this is it smells really bad. It smells like chemicals or something, but the product inside is really nice. So I do recommend trying these out. And then the other product that I got from NYX, which I thought was really interesting, it's called The Whipped. And it looks like this. And the shade I got is in the shade Plush. And this says it's like a whip texture for the lips and the cheeks. So I did try it out on my lips and my cheeks. And I actually really liked it for the cheeks. I think it's a really pretty cream blush. It blended in really nicely. And it gave me a nice wash of color. It's not super pigmented. 
For the lips, I feel like I got no color payoff, so I probably wouldn't wear this on the lips, but I feel like for a cream blush, it's a really cool product. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how nice it blends in. So it'll give you a really nice wash of color on the face. But of course, if you're looking for more of a subtle wash of color on the lips, this would be really pretty on the lips as well. I just didn't really like it because I felt like it was a little sheer on the lips. And then the last two products that I did get are both from e.l.f. The first one is the under eye concealer and highlighter. I don't know if this is new. Um, I just saw this in the drugstore recently, so I was like, huh, looks pretty interesting. It has a double-sided applicator. It has a highlighting side and then a concealer side. I got the shade medium. The highlighter side looks kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if this is like with everyone's, but my like doe foot is um, pink. <laughs> Like, I thought that was kind of weird. But, but yeah, this one gives you a white highlight. And it has a little bit of shimmer to it. But it does blend in really nicely. So, I don't know if I would use this. I mean, maybe I'll try it out. But I just don't like the shimmer in it. But I'll try it out and see how it is. The concealer looks really nice, though. I was swatching this. And it looks like it would be kind of like a medium coverage concealer. It doesn't look super thick or anything. So... I wouldn't say it's the same texture as like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer or the um, Pro Longwear Concealer. It seems like a very lightweight concealer, which I don't mind. I kind of like having a thicker concealer and a lighter weight concealer depending on like the makeup look that I'm doing. So I'll definitely test this out. It looks like it would be really nice. Um, makes my hand feel really smooth. So yeah, I'm excited to test this one out. And then the last product I got was the Lip Exfoliator from e.l.f. and I tested this out last night, and oh my god, I love this product. I think this is so cool. So this is what it looks like. And then this is what the product looks like. I think this is so convenient that it's in like a stick and it's not in like a little pod that you have to like dig out the stuff. And you pretty much just put it on and then scrub your lips with it. And it has a little bit of like a moisture to it. So I feel like it leaves your lips pretty hydrated and feeling really smooth. So I love this product. It was only $3 and I think it's better than my lip scrub from e.l.f. and my lip scrub from uh, Fresh. So I really think this is an awesome product, so I highly recommend it. So that was everything that I picked up at the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any reviews or tutorials on any of the products that I just mentioned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.